Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a full face of Merit Beauty. I pulled out all my Merit products and I have a good selection here. I pretty much have every single product that they came out with except maybe I don't own all the lipstick shades or things like that. I also want to thank Merit for sponsoring a part of this video. I'm going to talk about their new color in the lipstick which is Aperitif. Um, and it is this one right here. I do think they've had this color as limited edition and they brought it back. I didn't even swatch it. I'm just gonna swatch it with you guys. I'm very excited. Um, and yeah, if you're interested, continue watching. And if you're new here, welcome. I'd love for you to subscribe down below and let's get started. A couple of things about Married Beauty. If you don't know, they are a clean brand and they are taking this more holistic approach to clean beauty because clean beauty can mean so many different things. So I really appreciate the that they're focusing and they're trying to give us um, clean, beautiful products. Also, the whole vibe is more of a minimalistic makeup look, which I adore. On a day-to-day -day basis, I am very minimal with my makeup. Also, if you are purchasing for the first time from Married Beauty, I will link down below the website, but you will get a free bag. It's this one right here. I've had it for a very long time. Actually, take it with me sometimes as my makeup bag or just like a purse because it's really practical, really cute. Sometimes for Christmas, I think they came out with a black one, which is beautiful, but you get one of these for free if it's your first order. Also, you get free shipping over $40. Now let's get into the juicy stuff. Now, you guys know my obsession with the Serum Instant Glow and I had tragically dropped it on my bathroom floor and it had shattered and it was, I would say it was a third gone and I was so upset and they sent me a new one. I am so, so excited because I have truly missed this beauty right here. I think that this is my favorite kind of serum-y, oily. It's like kind of like a mixture and it's very unique. You have to mix it and you put a couple dots. Oh, it's new, so there we go. And it does not feel sticky or oily. It is extremely hydrating. And I use this either on its own or as a primer. It is so moisturizing, so beautiful. It gives a, an, an amazing glow to the skin. It is my favorite. This oil has 2% niacinamide, which is great for brightening. It has four different, different types of hyaluronic acid, which is amazing for hydration. You also have caffeine-rich cocoa uh, seed extract that it's beautiful for plumping. And then we have Japanese gold thread root for smoothing and antioxidant protection. These are some of the key ingredients and truly it is such a beautiful serum oil. Um, it's unique. I haven't tried anything quite like this. It's not sticky, but it gives a beautiful hydration and glow. So I don't know. I want to say this is one of my favorite Mary products that I've ever tried and I've tried them all. But when I dropped this one and smashed it on the ground, I was ready to purchase it. Sephora was sold out. Merit.com was sold out. I reached out to the brand and said, hey, do you have one that you could hook me up with? And they were sold out. But finally, it's back and I have it. Now, moving on to their foundation slash concealer. This is the Minimalist, which is kind of a complexion stick. You could use it for foundation. You could use it for concealer. It's, um, it's just such a good everyday easy. Again, this is a minimalist brand. Um, and I really, really enjoyed this one. This is in the color Bisque. And I have the old packaging here and the new one. I'm actually just gonna use the old one so I can use it up because, you know, I don't want this to expire. This may be, oh no, it actually works. I thought maybe it would be a little light for me. I had to take a break because my kids were way too loud. But um, I love this product. It's one of the few foundation sticks that I enjoy just because it's easy to blend in. It doesn't look heavy. It's luminous, blendable, beautiful. I'm also using their brush. I think they only have one, which is an amazing brush. But this is such a good 
even on the go foundation slash concealer. Sometimes if I really have a minimal look and all I want to do is just brighten up my under eye, I'll just use this under the eyes and feather it out. But look just how easy that is to blend out. And pairing this with the serum, what an amazing duo. You can build up this foundation. I would say you could have a medium coverage, which I was surprised about. Um, but I tend to just have it even out my skin and that's about it. I'm actually just gonna use this all over the skin. I'm not gonna use a concealer or anything like that. You could get a couple different shades, which probably I should have done that, and use a brighter one under the eyes. Oh, I actually think I have a brighter one. A little light, I guess. Or you could even get a deeper one to contour. I think in the future, that's what I'm gonna do. So this is how the foundation looks like slash concealer. I do wish I had two different colors just for under eye. It looks a little bit warm slash yellow for my under eyes. Everywhere else it looks good, but right here I need some peachiness, um, but we'll make it work. Next time uh, I'm probably gonna have to get a color that's a little bit more peachy for my under eyes concealer, but it's beautiful glowy. Now, if you have oily skin, uh, I'm curious to see what are your thoughts on this, because to me, I could see this being a little bit too luminous for you um, and giving you just too much glow. Um, but I have more normal, normal to dry skin, and this is absolutely gorgeous. So um, loving this. I think it's beautiful. Now, Merit does not have a powder. What a shame. I'm waiting for them to come out with a powder. Uh, I think it's going to be the most skin-like, beautiful, effortless powder. But until then, I have the Westman Atelier powder in the shade Creme, and I will set my under eyes just a little bit because, like I mentioned, this is definitely more on the glowier side. I wouldn't say it's a glow, maybe luminous, but that serum definitely makes it even more luminous. And it is summer here, so I want this to stay all day. I'm also using the Westman Atelier because I think that this is such a natural powder, also a clean brand, so I thought it would work well with Merit. Merit came out with their bronzing balm, and I have mine in the color, uh, well, two colors actually, Scene, Sane, and Clay. Clay is actually for my friend, but I'll swatch it for you if you won't mind. Scene is more for medium complexion, they say, and then clay is for light complexion. Ooh, I actually really like the clay. That is clay, that is seen. I, I hope I'm saying that right, or sane. Um, ooh, I really like clay. I'm actually gonna try that one on. It seems to have a little bit more coolness in it. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on. These are very sheer, they're a balm. Just like their blushes, they tend to be more sheer. Just everything about it, it's just more natural. I'm gonna take the same brush. You can use this brush for pretty much everything. I like this color. That is a beautiful color. I'm gonna do the other color, the medium shade, on the other side so we can compare. But yeah, I think that's beautiful. So this is the color clay and I'm gonna build up just a little bit right out here. And I, I try not to rub it too much because it's such a light balmy texture. I don't wanna lose too much color, but this definitely works. Okay, now moving on to same scene. I feel like I'm really saying that wrong. And when I hear it, I'm gonna be like, duh, that's exactly how you're supposed to say it. So let's see how this compares. I'm gonna put just a little bit around the nose. Look how blendable and easy that is. Which one do you guys think? 
I'm gonna build this up just a little bit more right there. Okay, I kind of have to say that I like maybe clay a little bit more. I like that it's a little bit cooler tone. It's not super cool tone, but I kind of think I like that one a little bit better. This is a little bit warmer. And even though this is supposed to be for lighter, I feel like it shows up pretty well. I, I was scared that um, this wouldn't show up on me. So I was like, I'll just give it to my friend. But it seems like it does. I'm still gonna give it to her. <laughs> okay, my friend, so what do we think? This is the darker one. And this is the lighter one. Yeah, I think for my skin, I kind of like the clay quite a bit. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Moving on to blushes. I have here four blushes. I have Terracotta, Beverly Hills, Fox, which is, this is new for me, in Stockholm, and this is absolutely my favorite. I've used it in many videos. And so today I wanna use the color Fox. Here I have the swatches. This is Terracotta, Beverly Hills, Stockholm and Fox. I have been loving this one probably the most so far, but I haven't tried the Fox one and I'm gonna I'm gonna do that today. You can definitely swipe these on, which I'm gonna do that right now, or you can take the brush. Ooh, that's more intense than I thought. You can take the brush and just go off of the brush the blush. But let's see. It's beautiful it's definitely more intense they came out with new shades a couple months ago maybe maybe more than a couple months ago um, and this is one of the new ones the Stockholm which is that pink one also is new beautiful Wow you can use your hands again this whole um, idea is minimal use whatever you have and you'll get a beautiful, beautiful, natural makeup. I'm gonna take it around my eyes too because I don't have, they don't have eyeshadows. And I'm just gonna go like this to make sure that everything is nice and blended. I'm taking a little bit more. And I think this is my favorite application to take it from the tube on a brush. I think I have more control over it and I can build a color a little bit better you can put these on your lips as well i've done that before Ooh, that's a pretty color hmm. one thing to know about these blushes is that they're sheer they're not a full pigment so you're gonna see your skin through them they're very luminous and glowy so if you don't like that you're gonna hate these. But if you are into a very natural, glowy finish blushes, these are beautiful. I had a lot of questions about these in the Makeup by Mario ones, which I have right here. The Makeup by Mario ones are more pigmented. Um, and I wouldn't say sticky or just heavier on the skin. The, these are lighter and more see-through almost and i think these last better the makeup by mario the married ones i would say the last five hours the blushes on me and then they start disappearing which is acceptable for me i don't mind reapplying but that's just something that i had a lot of questions about and there there's a big difference i think from the makeup by mario and married these are more minimalistic more barely their makeup where the makeup by mario are true intense pigment i was able to build those up like crazy these there's only so much you can build them up but they give a different i think they give a very different look and they're just very glowy same uh as makeup by mario those are very glowy as well but again these are a little bit more sheer um highlighters they have these are the called the day glow highlighting balm i have two colors i need to find the other one kava and bounce and i'll swatch them for you kava is more on the lighter side almost white see-through this one right here 
And then Kava, not Kava, Bounce has a little bit more pink, if you can see it right there. These are, um, again, they're not complete pigment. They are see-through and kind of like you, it allows your skin to show through. It just gives that beautiful glow. Kava is a little bit brighter because it's that white. Um, and this one has more of that pink color. I'll just try one on each cheek. Let's start with Kava. I usually just take my finger and apply it that way. You can swipe it as well, but I want to be more precise on where I apply this highlighter. This is a wet highlighter. It is amazing. The only bad thing about, just in general, clean beauty is that they go bad faster than a regular highlighter. So I've had, this is my second stick of the Kava because the first one did, oh, I almost put it on that side, did go bad um, before I was able to use it up. Uh, so that's just something to know, but like, look at that glow. It is so beautiful, so intense. It's wet looking and it's not, it never sets down completely like a powder or anything like that, but I don't find that my hair gets stuck on my cheek um, or I have any issues with transfer. It, it just stays glossy throughout the day. Again, you have to like this more cream focused makeup to enjoy most of the married products, but um, let's put the bounce color here. See, it has a little bit more rosiness in it. And that that uh, blush already had some glow in it. So that's Bounce. And then Kava. They're similar enough. You don't need both. Like, if you have one, that's more than enough. I like them both just as much. So, so beautiful. Wet looking highlighter. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Westman Atelier highlighter, the one in a stick. This one right here, I have the color Nectar and it reminds me of this one. I want to say that the Nectar is more sticky. I make these highlighters sound so bad, but maybe a little bit more tacky than the Merit. Merit's right here. Nectar is right here. On the skin, they're very, very similar. And if I'm not mistaken, there is another shade that's more bronzy of the highlighter. Moving on to their brow product. This is Brow 1980 Volumizing Powder, no, Pomade. And I have the color, I think, brown. I owned this before and i don't know what happened to it either i used it up or oh i know my sister loved it and she snatched it up um but i have the color brown and this is a very easy soft pomade it's not this um sticky gel it definitely feels a little bit more drying but look how easy that was like it's a very natural color, beautiful, um, easy pigment. I would say it's nothing revolutionary, it's just easy. Um, and if you have brows that are fuller like mine, you don't need a pen to um, get your brows just in place. Nice. I'm liking it. I actually really like the color. Yeah, it's brown. I think I had, did I have the color darker? Maybe that one was a little bit too much for me. But this, I don't even have to think about it. I just kind of throw it there. Make sure I didn't get it <laughs> everywhere. It's actually really nice. Again, I haven't used this product for a very long time. Oh my gosh, I actually am loving this. That was so easy and fast. And I didn't have to worry about um, too much product and too dark. The color, perfect. Okay, this 
this is really nice for the eyes there's only a mascara and this is their lengthening tubing mascara now this mascara is very natural i would say that it's more lengthening rather than volumizing this does have a soft tubing uh, effect it's easy to take off it's minimal though so if you're into like full voluminous YSL Lash Clash Mascara, this is not for you. Um, maybe this is a little bit more like Victoria Beckham, even though I haven't tried that one. From pictures and from reviews, they kind of remind me of each other. I'm gonna curl my lashes real quick. And this is my favorite refer curler. They send me a couple other ones, which I'm very grateful because it is absolutely my favorite, favorite one. It just works so well with my eye shape. I have to say I have a few mascaras open and I don't like opening new mascaras, but I have to for this video. We got to see what what this does. Ooh. I I do remember using it and actually using most of the other one. And I liked it for like every day whenever I wear minimal makeup. Oh, actually that did a better job than I remember. Like it defined my lashes more than I remember. Now because it is a tubing mascara, this should not smudge. I will be honest, I don't remember how it wore on the lower lashes. I remember liking it on the upper lashes but usually I have issues on the lower lashes when it comes to mascaras. So we're gonna put it on and I'll let you know in the description box below if this stayed well on the lower lashes. I, I That's like my biggest issue with mascaras and it just ruins your whole look. They look actually really good on the lower lashes. Okay, I have to say this is better than I remember. It just gives a little bit more volume. And last time and before, I remember just having maybe too natural of a eyelash. It looks really good on the lower lashes. Again, we'll see if this smudges. I mean, I kind of made a mess up here, but that's my fault. So this is a one layer of the mascara. I'm comfortable keeping it here, but I kind of want to test it out for you guys. So I'm going to put one more layer to see if we can build this up or if it gets clumpy or anything. So let's see. All right guys, so this is how the mascara looks with two layers. Um, and I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I am not going to say too much though. I want to see if it smudges on the lower lash line. Uh, usually on the upper lash line, I don't have such a big issue, but on the lower lash line, I only have two mascaras that don't smudge. The Unlocked by Hourglass and the Thrive Cosmetics. They're tubing mascaras. Those are the only two that don't smudge on my lower lashes. So we'll see. I'll keep you updated. Moving on to the lip category, and I actually have quite a lot of their products. Um, I would say half were sent to me, half I bought. I can't remember which one's which, but I'm gonna swatch some for you. And I do wanna try on the new color, which is aperitif. I assume that's appetizer. In Romanian, that's what it is. So this is in their signature lip. And this formula is so comfortable it is not too glossy but it isn't it's it's just very creamy moisturizing Ooh, that looks like a good basic red uh sounds bad but one that's not too intense that is maybe more wearable for day to day i'm gonna swatch the other colors tiger this is probably my favorite color that they have it's that one right there such a good color. That red is actually really pretty. It has a little bit of a coraliness to it. Um, then we have Cabo. Ooh, I love that one. I'm gonna swatch it next to this one. This is more of 
of orangey red beautiful this formula from merit is I, I think they're probably most known for their lipsticks just because they are so creamy so comfortable um they have luminosity to it they're i don't want to say that they're glossy because they're not wet looking but they're very creamy this one is i think slip yes slip which is again a very popular shade and i used to use this all the time but then i got the color baby and i kind of started using this more this is more of a mauvey pink so these are the colors that i have and again this one is the newer one i'm gonna try this on i have that blush on let's see if i can tap that off I've seen pictures of this lipstick and I liked how they blotted it out. It wasn't like this perfect red color. It was more wearable. Ooh. Wow, that is a beautiful shade. What do we think of this color? I'm actually loving it. It has a little bit of that coral in it where it's brighter a little bit more neon but still wearable i'm gonna pat it to see i'm loving this wow it's such a beautiful summer color okay guys so the mascara even though it's tubing i feel like it's starting to transfer a little bit on the lower lashes um i'm gonna let it dry down a little bit more and Give you an update it is not surprising though because that happens to like i mentioned all of my mascaras back to the lip i'm loving this shade so so beautiful it's a perfect summer red uh, it's not a, like a true hollywood red this is a little bit softer a little bit more corally brighter and i think if you pat it yeah Mm, this is gonna be perfect for summer they need to make this permanent i don't know is this permanent maybe i'm not sure i also want to mention just how beautiful the packaging is of this lipstick out of everything i think the merit the oil or serum i always say oil the serum has great packaging in this this packaging looks very luxurious looks like this is a 50 dollars lipstick um and they're not they have that um they also have some lip gelée which they just came out with maybe last month and it's i have these two colors i have le zio and jeté i have tried these uh, on camera i've been using the jeté quite a bit these are a little bit of a tint they give you a tint i wouldn't say it's a full stain but i do notice this staying throughout the day and it's more of that I want to say neony effect but very wearable I'm swatching the jeté right there see what I'm talking about it, it almost transforms with your lips and I I'm not usually a big fan of those but these these look very beautiful um the formula is very unique it's more of a gel it's not sticky at all it's not the same formula as their lip oils i'll talk about that so this one you know doesn't really look like the packaging if anything these look more similar i just need to give it a little bit more time to adapt to my skin and change a little bit um but very unique kind of fun from marriott and let me swash, um, wipe them off. See, you still have just a little bit of stain. It's not much, it's just enough. And then I have three of their tinted lip oil. I have here Taupe, Au Natural, and Cara. Cara is probably my most used one because it's that orangey red color and it's extremely comfortable so so beautiful these definitely have pigment to them let's do taupe and i want to say this is maybe the most um, popular one i had a couple more but i just gave them away to friends or people that needed some 
And then we have the Au Naturel. This has a little bit more warmth than taupe. Here is Au Naturel, taupe, and then Cara. I will say that this looks brighter than it really is on the lips. It's more of a natural lip oil, but this one, it just looks so good. Uh, very comfortable, not sticky whatsoever. These are one of the first lip oils that I actually enjoyed because I was really not into lip oils. And generally, I'm more into matte lips. So, you know, it takes a little bit for me to really get into glossy lip products. So this is the full face of married products. I feel like my skin looks natural. It's still put together, but I don't look fake or I don't feel fake. The pop of color is really fun. And what I like about Married is that they will throw in a pops of color here and there. Um, even though it's more of a minimalistic, that doesn't mean you can't wear color. It's just not heavy makeup. You know, it's more skin-like, glossy look. The blush is softer than other blushes. So this really is just such I don't know, I feel very comfortable, very much like me, and I don't feel like I have much makeup on, which is amazing. I'm gonna give you my top three married products. First of all, it has to be the Serum Instant Glow. I love this product so, so much. Next one, I wanna say their signature lipstick. This is such a beautiful formula, creamy. The colors are all beautiful. One day I will probably own them all just because they're so easy, stunning. Um, they last well, not all day, just like a good lipstick. And then the third one, ugh, I'm really in between these two, like in between the highlighter and the blush. I'm not sure. The highlighter is really beautiful. I've used it on a lot of different people and it didn't matter if they had oilier skin or drier skin, it worked. Um, but this Stockholm blush, I, I love this one so, so much. Fox is beautiful, but I still think that this is my favorite. And the color lasts better than all the other blushes, so. I can't pick between those two. I would love to know your thoughts down below on the Merit brand, the products that I've shown you or products that you enjoy. Again, don't forget about the free shipping over $40 and the free bag if it's your first purchase from Merit.com. I will link that down below. And thank you to Merit for working with me again. I'm so thankful for them. I'm thankful for you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.